Hi out there in the YouTube land and welcome back to my channel. Got another deep video for you. In this video I'm going to be talking about why the New World Order, which isn't new at all. It, it stems back from the beginning of time. They, they like to label it new, kind of like how they label shampoos, because it's more exciting to your consciousness, but it's the same order. It's the same control factor that's always been in place. It's not Babylon. It's not Rome. Babel, it's not any of that. Like, they, they, they're... Shh, like, that's the mystery cult. Like, no, it's like the Voldemort. Like, you don't speak the name. Like, because nobody... none of No one on a civilian level is even aware or conscious of the name. Because they're not even, like, in TV or... Well... They're not public, so like maybe some digital imprints of them get out there in the world, but like nothing that would be um, able to determine their character, so to speak, like their face. But um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of discuss like why the New World Order, which as we said isn't new, but why this order? Well, you know, their motto, order out of chaos, which Chaos in itself, like the nature, its natural way is to establish balance and tranquility, like like in, in nature. Like there might be instances if you were to zoom in where, you know, yes, like a bear attacking a deer and ripping its flesh and stuff. But that's just in a moment of time. There's also all the flowers growing and the whole aspect of whether or not you want to paint that as good or bad is just an illusion in your own mind that you have created through your life experiences which and your cultural upbringing. So it's very important to keep that in mind, that nature always wants to establish, establish order and balance, but human nature, when we intervene in situations like this, throw off the balance, which the balance of the illusion or the maya. Which, so the whole aspect of living in strife, or that we're in a, you know, that everything, like, what is, what do they say in the media lately? Like, that it's creating, um, strife, or like, just people thinking that there isn't enough out there. And really, like, we have more resources available to us at any point in recorded history, so... For people to be complaining that they don't have enough, maybe that is just because, like, through much, too much television and stuff, they've been instilled with belief patterns that make them really desirous of more things, when that's not the natural way, you know? Like, Native and Indigenous peoples, uh, like, all over the world, always lived in symbiosis with it because they didn't need to their wants and needs were actually in balance and harmony with nature because the elders and the people that took care of their people instilled proper teachings. But people in mainstream media and through advertisements have been allowed to take advantage of people. Like think of a McDonald's advertisement. Think of any freaking advertisement. They don't have to be honest. They don't. Like and it's legal. It's all good as long as, you know, you have free will to believe it or to not believe it. And that's kind of the clincher of it all because it ultimately the responsibility of your life falls in your hands. So even if you be in a poisoned environment, that's your fault because you remain there. And if you allow the poisons to seep inside of yourself and to become like them, then it becomes lost. When there will always be order. So with this whole new world order to talk, like with like George Senior, you know, when we're successful and we will be, we have a real chance for this new world order. Like there will be no law of the jungle, just rule of man, and and the founding fathers, like. And who the hell are these founding fathers? Like, that's what I always think about, is I'm like, 
Why are we agreeing to things that happened? Like belief patterns that were instilled in people a long freaking time ago. And we only have the belief patterns of the modern day bullshit media and like information age where there's so much information where it can literally be a web of entanglement because you have no idea what information route is the truth. And in all, in, in all time, any route will ultimately lead to freedom and to self-awareness and self-love. But some routes take longer than others. And they're all sacred, like a circuit board, but they all lead to the good, okay? Even if they're different circuitry, meaning one circuit has no freaking understanding of the other circuit. They're different, my, but they're all a part of the same motherboard, okay? And it's all connected to the same source, which it comes from and returns to. So that includes any of these people in the New World Order that you want to paint the brush of evil on them. You're the one painting that brush. So anyone on the YouTube that has videos that are like creepy music and like, you know, they're going to paint, they're painting a story tainted by their own perception as everybody does. It's, it's not, it's not bad and it's not good, but for people to get tangled up in the web of assuming or, or having a default reflex of it being good or bad. You need to understand that that comes from you. It doesn't come from them. You create that reality. So be very aware of that and know that higher intelligence always takes advantage of lower intelligence, at least in most cases in nature. And we're a part of nature. So I would assume that that's why mainstream media and lots of the television, the things on the boob tube, uh, things that they portray to us mock and make fun of astrology and they don't want you to know anything about that because that would empower you and that would actually give you an understanding of the kind of rituals and things that they're doing on you so then you know you'd have a better understanding of knowing how to guard against that however having all of those things hidden the majority of people are not aware of those goings on and that's completely okay, okay? Like, think about like mud or clay on the ground, dirt, okay? Doesn't matter how hard you try to mold that into a rose bush, it's not gonna happen. It takes time and it will happen. It does happen. And it's not gonna happen any faster through your forcible intervention and trying to, you know, sell them your product of your beliefs and your opinions, which most people on YouTube, I'm finding, especially a lot lately for myself, everybody's so rude and opinionated on their own perception that they don't hear anybody out. They really don't listen. They just throw names. They have walls up. And they don't want to, they go into the situation thinking that they already know everything. And if you go into situations like that, then you're always going to get hurt because you don't know everything. And you should come from a perception of knowing that like we're all gears in this giant matrix of reality. And you have certain abilities and attributes to offer to the world that no one else does. But so does every other freaking gear and it doesn't make you more special and you shouldn't put yourself on a pedestal and you shouldn't put other people who think that they are better or on a pedestal like the new world order people that have total monetary power and gain and like control basically they have control over an illusion and the more control they think they have the more they're entangling themselves in it so you don't need to be jealous because though they're going to be tangled in that web for so long, not forever. And they're going to join you in the rose bush. Like, but yeah, I'm going on 10 minutes now. So I figure I will uh, kind of cut this video short. I don't want to go on and on and on, but uh, I hope that you learned something or some 
information was imparted to you. And if you have feedback, please leave me comments below. Um, that really, really matters a lot to me. Not that I place like a lot of, you know, desire upon that. It's not really a, whatever. Like if everyone's quiet, everyone's quiet. Like that's all you. That's, that's not me. I'm clearly not quiet. So if like, yeah, <laughs> Mwah. love y'all and I'll see you in the future. Bye for now. Oh. <sighs>